everyone welcome back in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make this super easy and cute patio table um, without having to spend so much money and also I'm going to be showing you how to make a really cute makeup organizer that can be made really cheap so now let's get started so for your project you are going to need two of these little pots for the garden you can find these at the Dollar Tree in the garden section you can use two or you can use three depending on the height of your table you will also need some of these little rocks um, you can use jewels you can use sand whatever you prefer you will also need two of these little cute um, little froggies or whatever it is that you decide to put on your table. Since mine will be outside, I decided to go with the little frogs. They're a dollar a piece. So you will need um, some E6000 or you can either use hot glue gun or the adhesive glue that they sell at the Dollar Tree. But today I'm just going to go with this. You will also need some soil, sand, dirt, rocks, anything that's heavy because we're going to be dumping this in there to give it some weight. So whatever you can find. I got this from my backyard and I'm sure you can do the same. You will also need one of these little trays that you can find in the party section at the Dollar Tree. Okay guys, so to start off what you can do is you're going to grab your little pots and you are going to stack them like this so that it makes that little carrier right there. If you want it to get a little higher, you can just um, put a third one so it'll give it the height. So that is up to you guys, okay? I am gonna go with the third today because I want my little outside table to be the same height as my chair. So all you wanna do for this project is take this and put it facing down. And then you're going to add a whole bunch of adhesive, which I already done that to save some time. So you're going to add a glue. And then you are going to take this and center it in the center like so. Then it has a little weird shape. And then you're going to add some weight to it to dry overnight because you have to give the glue 72 hours to go to its fullest. So what I've done is I put a Yankee candle inside of here just so that that way it will hold down with pressure and it will help with the glue and part it does dry clear so that's a good thing and um if you feel like it needs more glue you can always go around and do that so to make this process faster i went ahead and done mine's already as far as for this it's already dried and everything so now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to be taking my sand and i'm gonna add it to the top be adding my sand in there and you want to do this with either rock sand anything that's heavy um, because I'm gonna have this outside so I don't want the wind to blow it away and I am currently using about one pint um, and it looks like that it just looks like this and it's just sand and this is just going to help this from falling over or anything like that it gives away you could always fill it to the top but i'm just going to go with that that is fine for me now what you want to do is you're going to take your other one and you are going to super glue it so that you will have this little lamp shape so i'm going to go ahead and do that I will use this little paper to set my glue on so that it doesn't get all over the floor. And I did lay a sheet on the ground so that way I don't make any mess. Now you just take it and you are going to place it in the center. Okay, so after you're done, it should look a little like this. Looks like a cute little pineapple. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to take the plate and I'm going to add some glue right here.
So now it'll look a little like this. And this is silver and this has got a little silver effects. So it kind of all matches with black. But um, if it's not what you want, you can always spray paint it. And now to add some weight to the top, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to add my rocks in here. Okay, guys. So now that it's dried, what I'm going to do is you're going to take your little decoratives and you're going to add glue. I'm not going to add glue, but you can. Then you can scatter your little rocks. So that's the finished product. Like I said, for here, you could either spray paint these to whatever color you like, or you could just simply use sand, soil, or nothing. But I decided to go with that. Now that it's really pretty. So the first thing you're going to need is going to be another one of these little things at the Dollar Tree. Then you will need a glass. This was in the kitchen department, but you can choose whatever plastic. This is glass. I think the um, design on this was so, so pretty, so that is optional for you. Then you will need one of these acrylic storage also at the Dollar Tree. You will need one of these. These are also little trays that you find in the party section. And some E6000. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to set your glass on the ground or your tray. Now you're going to take your plate. I'm not going to super glue these because I already made it and I forgot to film it. So I'm just going to be showing you. Then you're going to put some adhesive glue right here, super glue, hot glue gun, whatever. And you're going to set it at a diagonal shape. I think it just looks better, but you can really do whatever. And then you will take your other one, add some more glue to the whole bottom of this. And then just place them. Try to keep them at the very end so you can still have all this room over here. Next, you're going to take a glass. Now, if you want to add some color to it, the one I show in my demonstration has color, but you could also do it without color. It looks really pretty with the glass in this. Or you could always spray paint this to whatever room decor you have going on. In this case, I'm going to go with the cheapest. I'm going to be using um, my bubble wrap from my Ipsy bag, and I cut it up to add some color and you will be taking it you're going to cut into a long strip and you're going to insert it so I'm going to turn around so you can see what I'm working with here so like I said you can do the, the very front the middle or the back I chose to go with the farthest to the back then so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a circle with the same paper that I used for here you could either use a gift bag I forgot about that any paper that you like the design you can do that or you could leave it plain then you can cut out a circle of the shape so you put the paper then you grab your scissors and you just hold it and just cut around and then when you take it out you just fix it up so it'll look perfect that's all you do to get the perfect little circle then you grab some adhesive and you will put it on there and you will put it like so now you have a nice little top what it's going to do is when you add your acrylic to the bottom it's going to give you more glue support and it's also going to give it that pink shine coming through as you can see real pretty now you will glue that together and you let that dry overnight once it's dry you are ready to organize your items what i also done was cut a little piece of strip um with my same design that i have going on like this and then what you can do is you can wrap it around like so and it gives you that really pretty 
accent color in the very back and then if you wanted to keep on glamming it the bag you're going to have enough to do all this so it's going to be really good and convenient you can cut out little squares and you can put these in the very bottom 